For the following exercises, determine whether the graph of the function provided is a graph of a polynomial function. And if so, determine the number of turning points and the least possible degree for the function. All right. So are these polynomials? That's what we got to uh, that's what we have to answer. So in order to be a polynomial function, we have to meet two criteria. Okay? First I'm going to talk about the x values, okay? Or aka the domain. The x values have to be all real numbers. All real numbers. In other words, x when you look at a graph, the x values have to go all the way out to negative infinity and that looks like an 8. That's a little better. You might say it still looks like an 8 just sideways. I agree. And it has to go all the way out to positive infinity. Okay, this has to be true for all polynomials. So before I give you the second rule, let's just apply this. Okay, take a look at the first graph. Notice how they give you these vertical asymptotes. What do vertical asymptotes represent? They represent the lowest possible value or the greatest possible value, depending upon what side you're looking at, that the function can possibly obtain. In other words, this thing is going to go on and on and on forever, all the way though straight down, eventually meeting whatever x value this is. Okay, is that going to go? So, base does this go all the way out to negative infinity in the x direction? No, it stops here. Whatever that number is, I have no idea what it is, but we don't even need to know it. Okay, anytime you see vertical asymptotes, it's never going to be a polynomial. So just say, ah, uh -uh, ain't happening. Okay. Let's look at this one. Now, if you notice, the shape is very similar. Let me get rid of the x. The shape is very similar. Actually, I think it might even be like identical. Uh, uh, no, not exactly. This one kind of, this one curves a little more. This, what the heck kind of grid? This looks like it's going to curve backwards on itself. Anyway, um, without the vertical asymptotes here, we cannot assume that it will stop at some x value. We have to assume it will continue on and on and on. You know, hopefully not trail off like that. Like I, all of a sudden I have some type of neuromuscular uh, condition. Um, anyway, it's going to keep on going all the way, all the way, all the way to the positive x. Okay, and same thing here. It's going to keep on going down kind of at this angle and eventually it will reach all the way to negative x or negative infinity, I should say. And same thing over here. It's going to reach positive infinity in the x direction. So that one does meet this condition. Okay, now for the y's. Okay, the left hand side of the graph. Uh, what? <laughs> That's what happens when you write and speak kind of at the same time sometimes, right? This, I don't know what that is. Lelf. The lelf side. The left. The There we go. The left side and the right side. And all of a sudden my voice is cracking like I'm reaching puberty or something. Left side and right side. Okay. Hopefully not at this age, otherwise I'm in trouble. Um, left side and right side um, of the graph, okay, has to go out. So this is why specifically. The left side and the right side must go to infinity. Goes to infinity. Now, I don't care if it's positive or negative. Don't care. Not even a little bit. Okay. The So let's just take a look. All right. Could be positive or negative. Let's take a look at this side. This is the left-hand side of the graph. In terms of y, where is this thing headed? It's headed all the way out to negative infinity, infinity in the y direction. Man, I can't even speak today. God, I think I'm going to be done after this. Negative infinity, except I have seven appointments, so that, that's great. Um, so it goes out to negative infinity, right? Now, how about over here? Goes out to positive infinity. I love doing what I do, by the way. I hope that didn't come across that way. All I meant was, I don't know how I'm going to make it through. That's all. Actually, I do. A lot of coffee. Okay. Um, pa what are we doing up here? Where? Focus. Focus. Here we go. What are we doing on up here? Okay. Where is this thing headed? In terms of the y value, it's headed all the way out to positive infinity, right? In terms of the y. So notice how I don't, it doesn't matter positive, negative, who cares? They could have both been positive, both been negative, one positive, one negative, doesn't make a difference. What's important is that the value of the y coordinate goes to infinity somehow, okay? So this one does meet that second criteria, and that's all you need, ladies and gentlemen. This is a polynomial function, okay? Boom. Now, Let's determine the number of turning points. That's relatively easy. It might be a little complicated here, but it shouldn't be that bad. Okay. Um, so start on the leftmost side and then work your way to the right. Okay. So you're going to pretend like you're traveling along here. And as you travel, notice you reach a turn right there, right? You're going to start turning right in here. Okay. As you turn there, that, well, as you turn, I mean, that's a turn. Okay. <laughs> that would count as one turn. 
But then you're going to travel along here, right? And then you're going to realize, oh, got another bend in the road. That's another turn, so two. So you technically have two turns here. One here, and I know that color might not be the best. You got one turn here and one turn there. Okay, so for a total of two turns, all right? So let's just write that. So the turns you have, you might say, well, what kind of a turns? T U R. Oh my God. Oh boy. Maybe I'm going to take a nap first. I think that's what I'm going to do. You got two. You got two turns. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take a, take a 10 minute nap. Um, so number of turns here, you got two. Okay. Now to determine the least possible degree of the polynomial function, it turns out that we can use this number of turns to help us out. So watch the least possible degree, LPD, is going to simply equal the number of turns plus one. That's it. So all you have to do now to determine the LPD is find that number of turns to add one to it. So that would be a total of three. And what this basically tells you is that this is a third degree polynomial or some x cubed function. Okay. There might be stuff after it, depending upon what it looks like. Okay, this to me looks pretty much just like x cubed period, all right? If you plugged in x cubed in your calculator, it would look very, very close to this, okay? But that's all it is. So I hope this helps, guys, all right? If it does, like, subscribe, maybe even tell some of your classmates. We'd love to help them too. If we helped you out at all, we might be able to help them too, and it'd be an awesome way to help us grow, all right? Our future is literally in your hands. You have all the power. Please, please help us out. Please. Take care.